Nolan Arbol, the first human to have a Neuralink device implanted in his brain, can now control technology with his thoughts. My name's Nolan. I'm obviously the first person with the Neuralink implant. Arbol noted earlier this month that he is 29 years old and is paralyzed below the shoulders due to a diving accident that occurred around eight years ago. I'm 29 years old. About eight years ago, I was in kind of a freak diving accident and uh, dislocated my C4, C5. So I'm a complete quadriplegic. So I'm paralyzed from below the shoulders. I have no sensation or movement uh, below my level of injury, so below my shoulders. But now, because of the Neuralink tech that he had implanted earlier this year, he can manipulate a computer cursor using his mind. I mean, when I first actually moved the cursor with my mind, it, it like I said, it blew my mind for like a whole day. Uh, I just could knock it over it. He can do things like play chess and pause music. Y'all have enabled me to do something that I wasn't able to really do much the last few years, especially not like this. I had to use like a mouse stick and stuff, but now it's all, uh, it's all being done with my brain. If y'all can see the cursor moving around the screen, that's that's all me, y'all. Um, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, can you pause the song just for the yeah, audio absolutely. coming through? And that was also done with your brain? Yep. He can even play Mario Kart. It still blows my mind that yeah, Yoshi here has been controlled without moving any hand at all. It's just completely using BTI. The implant, which Neuralink refers to as a brain-computer interface, is battery-powered and charges wirelessly, according to the company's website. Billionaire business tycoon Elon Musk has referred to the technology as a telepathy cybertech implant and the Neuralink telepathy device. So do you feel the implant in any way? No, a little bit. I mean, I can feel it when people like bump up against it or something. Um, there are certain things that I can feel. Um, I don't know, it's hard to describe. I mean, there's something in your brain, so it, you can feel it a bit, but not as much as I would have thought. Um, I would have thought it was just like a feeling that you'd have constantly and it just doesn't go away. But outside of that, I don't, yeah, I don't feel it at all, really. Like very, very minimum uh, impact on my life or anything. And by the way, with the 2024 election season in full swing, Musk recently tweeted that he thinks the U.S. is toast if there isn't a red wave. The term refers to a dominant performance by Republicans during an election cycle. I voted 100% dim until a few years ago. Now I think we need a red wave or America is toast, Musk wrote. In another tweet, Musk wrote, This is a battle to the death with the anti-civilizational woke mind virus. My positions are centrist, secure borders, safe and clean cities, don't bankrupt America with spending, racism against any race is wrong, no sterilization below age of consent. Is this right wing? He also added in another post, I believe in the Constitution and freedom of speech. If you, like me, want to see conservative policies implemented, then we need a red wave, not just of Republicans, but of actual conservatives. Consider the fact that more than 100 Republican lawmakers recently voted in favor of passing a swampy, earmark-laden $1.2 trillion government appropriations package. If you'd like to learn more about that, check out my video from last week. But it's always important to remember that the issue of ultimate importance and of eternal consequence is whether you have trusted in Christ, who died for our sins and rose again. That's the issue that really matters for you and me and every single one of us. Romans 2.8 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So happy Easter slash happy Resurrection Day. Thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed the show, please tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow me over on X, the platform previously known as Twitter.